Good evening, my friends. So before we proceed with the weekly market analysis, we need to check the performance of Angela on the uh, premium group signals. And to be honest with you, I'm very happy and very proud to see these results. And I can see that they are full of green. Now, someone will tell me, man, what are you talking about? It's full of red. I will tell you, okay, please pay attention. 14th August was full of red. I agree, but let's pay attention. What are the common things between these losses? They are all JPY pairs. That what happened. 14th August, Mr. Trump has opened his mouth and he talked about the economic war between US and China, forcing the Chinese market to pay the full fees for the tariffs. And that has affected all the JPY currency on all pairs. Now, this is not anybody's fault. It's not Angela's fault. Nobody can blame us for what happened. It just happened out of nowhere. And it was a suddenly breaking news, what he said. And that's uh, the reason for these losses. It's not because the signals has bad quality. It's only because of the unexpected news. And the proof to that is what happened the next days, 15th and 16th August. We can see they are full of green because there was no, unex no unexpected news happened. The market just followed our uh, analysis, especially GBP and ZD, hitting 120 pips of profit. And that was fantastic. So indeed, on uh, 15th and 16th, we were able to recover these losses. So actually, yes, uh, Angela was able to finish the week with a total of 625 pips of profit delivered to our clients in the premium group. And for that, I'm very happy and I'm really proud. If you wish to join the premium group, Please contact Angela today. You can find her link on Telegram in the description down below this video. So again, thanks Angela. And I'm really happy for these results. And I wish the best to our clients in the premium group. And uh, wish to see you guys there soon. Good evening, my friends. How are you? I hope you guys are doing very well. And welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So let's go directly to the Euro USD and let's discuss it because it's, it's uh, really a little bit tricky this week. Uh, the Euro USD is continuing its uh, downtrend or the bearish momentum seems like it's continuing to go more down. However, uh, we need to look for the bounces on this uh, trend. So right now I'm on the daily chart and I'm looking at the Euro USD. Uh, let's see what we can see. What do we see on the Euro USD that we had here a support level? And we can see the support is here at these levels has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle. And again, it created below here a new support level. And we can see the market went up all the way, but it couldn't break this resistance from the last week. So we had here this resistance like that right here. And we can see the market could not even break from this level and the reversal was actually remarkable and the market continued to go more down continuously for four days only until it reached the support level here it started to bounce and we can see that the market closed friday night at this bounce so what does that mean that means that this support level right here is actually strong level and if i switch to the four hour chart we can see that indeed we had here a support number one and here right now we had support number two so it was really good to short uh, sorry to start uh, scalping the euro usd on this level and that could have brought brought us sorry uh, brought us about uh, 34 pips of profit because as per the hit and run rules if we place buy here we need to end to exit our trade at the nearest resistance which was exactly exactly right here so what do I think will gonna happen to the Euro USD? I think based on the daily chart, seems like the Euro USD should continue to go a little bit more up all the way right here to hit this resistance before it actually start going more down. And there is also a chance that it will continue to go more up, hitting again this, uh, this previous resistance before continue to go more down. So the thing is we need to wait for the good opportunity to buy the euro usd and that will be actually only let's go to the uh, four hour chart in my opinion it seems like the euro usd is continue to go more down but in general it will go up 
So the best thing we can do, wait for the euro USD if it will go down, wait it to reach this point exactly on the support on 1.10374 and then we can start buying euro USD and don't keep your position for so long time. I don't think it will go uh, higher than this uh, previous resistance and I think we're talking about 100 pips maybe 128 pips uh, of profit should be uh, should be good let's check daily chart again uh, actually that's a little bit too much let me let me change it hold on let me change it wait a minute oh sorry I forgot to yeah okay check daily chart yeah exactly it now looks more convenient so Again, your USD should be good to buy at 1.10374. Keep your position for about 120 pips uh, until 1.11505. That's like almost um, you can say somehow like guaranteed movement to the Euro USD before before it actually, in my opinion, will continue to f to fall more down eventually in the end. But that might happen actually later time of this month or maybe even next month. So again, your USD good to buy only on 1.10374. Keep your position until 1.11505. Let's check the pound USD. Uh, pound USD, as I expected last week, it went a little bit more up, almost 134 pips. And it bounced on the sub on the very bottom of the support again. If we check uh, the monthly chart, as I told you, the pound USD has reached the very bottom of the support, and it bounced a little bit, and the market closed as this doji. So this is of course a monthly chart. Uh, we need to wait to see to see what will gonna happen. But in my opinion, I think it's gonna continue to go more up until it hit this previous support. Uh, let me just uh, zoom in more. I think it should continue for uh, going more up until it touch this previous support right here. And again, this is on daily chart, uh, weekly chart. Sorry, uh, looking at on daily chart, we can see it even more clear that the pound USD seems to be going more up. So I believe that the market. Let me just be more accurate. Uh, there is a chance that the market will actually let's just be clear yeah just like that yeah so this is the previous support right here and right here and right here as well um, has been uh, followed later by this bullish breakout candle and we can see the market actually reversing on this small resistance I expect uh, that the pound USD will uh, fall a little bit more down until <coughs> the level 1.21239 then it should be good idea to start buying the GPP USD and keep your position all the way until hopefully it will reach this previous support level right here so uh, GPP USD should be good to buy on 1.21239 keep your position until 1.23617 and that's a lot of pips actually that's about 240 pips yeah the pound has made some naughty pips uh, recently it just kept moving uh, uh, on upper in upper way or actually making a bullish uh, momentum and i think it will continue uh, unless there will be some news about brexit actually just today we heard that the uk might face be it might might be facing some problems uh, if they exit without a deal if they left the, UK, uh, the EU without any deals, then they will face some serious issues with the um, uh, food supplies and the medicine and other things. So we need to be careful. Uh, just pay attention to the news. If there was no any unexpected news from the UK government regarding Brexit, then just don't don't. Um, you can keep your position, but if you, if you heard anything about Brexit, then please be careful and exit the trade, or just uh, keep your at, keep your eyes on the trade, uh, give it your attention, don't just ignore it and uh, go. But in general, yeah, the pound USD should be good to buy exactly on this level as I mentioned, and you can keep your position all the way until this level, 1.23617. 
So let's check now AUD USD. Ah, AUD USD is still ranging on the same level of the last week. We can see it didn't make any actually uh, remarkable movement. And I'm expecting it to go a little bit more up actually before co uh, continue to fall more down. So this ranging, I really hate to see the market stuck in a ranging market. Uh, we can see uh, the market is exactly ranging on the very bottom support here and it didn't break it but from seeing this a lot of rejections and the, seeing this uh, pin bar in the middle is indicating that the market should actually continue to go more up but that might take some time remember I'm on the weekly candles or the weekly chart so I believe we can wait for the AUD USD since it's ranging right now personally I would avoid any ranging market but if we must give the analysis and seeing the history of these candles we can expect that the AUD USD should be really good to start buying on 0 0.67481 hopefully the market will reverse at this point and it should continue to go more up again until it hit this previous support right here and that is approximately 164 pips uh, but again it's really risky I would not advise to go for it uh, it's better always if you avoid the ranging market but if you must wait for the AUD, uh, AUD USD to reach this level 0 0.67481 keep your position all the way let's be more accurate until this level 0 0.68930 Let's check the USD CAD. USD CAD now reversing on this resistance. So again, uh, we had this resistance in the past, and this resistance after this bearish uh, momentum or bearish breakout, it kept its position as a resistance number one. And right here we had now a resistance number two, meaning the market is actually reversing at this resistance. I don't think it will break from it right now. So we can expect the uh, reversal to be happening immediately I believe USD CAD let me just zoom out uh, USD CAD should be good to start sell uh, almost immediately we can expect the market at the opening of Monday to reach this resistance right here I believe yes somehow here yes like that so we can expect the market to reverse here at this point on 1.32831 and then we can see the market will reverse I believe yes it will reverse and continue to go more down all the way until it hit this previous support and that should be actually about let's say about between 80 to 85 pips of profit it's almost really an easy trade should be easy one I think the USD CAD is, is going to fall down. I don't think it will go up at this point, especially after seeing it bouncing from this uh, resistance right here. So yeah, uh, USD CAD should be good to start selling uh, at 1.32831 and keep your position until 1.31949. Let's clean this up. Uh, USD GPY. USDGPY if we check the weekly chart as I told you before if you remember that USDGPY should actually be reaching the support right here and we can see that the market is still going up I think it's ranging right now yeah it's ranging on the daily chart it didn't really move a lot but we can see that it has reached this resistance so I think uh, the USDGPY should be eventually good for sell until it reach the support level on 104.711 so what should what should we do for the USDGPY I think it should be really good to start selling on 106.760 or 759 I don't think the, the USDGPY will break this resistance at this point no I don't think this is gonna happen I believe it has to go all the way down until the support before it start either reversing or continue to go more down but in general I think it will reverse to be honest but it's not gonna reverse before reaching the support here and try to break this level on 104.711 so again 
USDGPY should be start uh, should be good for start selling on 106.760 and keep your position until 104.711 uh, that should be about 200 pips let's hope we can get them all but yeah USDGPY should be good for sell at this point USDCHF however USDCHF is now reversing again at the same support as we mentioned in the last week uh, in general it was ranging really it didn't move uh, it, did, it didn't make that much of movement but I think it's gonna reverse and continue to go more down on this support level again now seeing these rejections at the bottom of the support indicating that the market is indeed gonna go up but not now uh, the market seems like it's gonna reverse again make a fourth attempt of this support before it actually start going up now however let's be more accurate let's check the weekly chart the weekly chart is saying that market has reversed on this support level and if I look at the left we can see that we had here a strong resistance and exactly right here we had this strong resistance that's what makes me believe that the market should actually continue to go more down even here remember we're on the weekly chart so even here we can see that we had the previous support has been followed by this bearish breakout candle and the market has reached this previous support and now I think it's gonna reverse and continue to go more down now we are looking at the USDCHF and we need to, ex to expect the movement for the next few weeks or even months because in general if we look at the bigger picture I think USDCHF will break from this support it will break it and go all the way to the support here but that's not gonna happen not even in a month it might take even more than a month in general we need to we can, we can start um, let's be let me be more accurate please this is not easy at all because the USDCHF is bouncing from this support right here uh, but the market was ranging so we can see the reversal happening right here we cannot have a clear picture of what will gonna happen to the USDCHF unless we see a price action on Monday morning sorry what I'm thinking will gonna happen for the USDCHF is really as I said I think it will go down a little bit create a fourth attempt of this support before it actually start going more up and hit this previous resistance or even here so if you want to be really safe I think it will be a good idea to start selling USDCHF right on this resistance if it reached the level 0 0.98093 and just keep your position for a short time just like let's say about let me just be accurate here about uh, just 60 pips until it hit 0 0.97436 and then we can exit the trade don't stay a long time on the USDCHF it's not making a clear image about the movement right now because again I'm telling it bounced three times on this support and the price action that we have so far indicating a rejection but also we cannot ignore the power of the resistance on the past year on the same level so I think it will just reverse a little bit more down before continue to go more up and that is my expectation for the U for the USD USDCHF let's check gold gold however is continue to go more and more up and if we check the week the monthly chart we can see this uh, movement of the US of the gold it has broke if it broke this resistance it is really a long time resistance it is here since 2012 and that is the reason we can see this strong bullish momentum from the gold and honestly I, I honestly I don't think it will, it will uh, stop rising until it hit this previous support right here so in general gold will continue to go more up uh, for about 450 pips uh, again that is on monthly chart if we check daily chart however we can expect that the gold should be good to start buying either immediately or once it hit this previous support right here 
So I remember this is daily chart. Let's go to the four hour chart. It will make it easier for us. So I think you, uh, the gold will continue rising. But the price action that we had on last Friday night uh, seems like it's showing a bearish momentum. And that's why I'm, I'm telling you it will be a really good idea to start buying the gold uh, if it reached the support on 1495 because we have here a support number one and we can see on the past this level was really very respectful as a, as a, resist, uh, as a support the market respected this level even at this uh, fake breakout of this support level the market immediately reversed and continued to go more up respecting this support level right here so we can or we all we can do is wait for the gold if we are lucky to fall more down here until it hit the support level on 1495 start buying the gold um, I really hate staying in the gold trade for a long time but maybe we can keep it only until it hit this previous resistance right here so hopefully the candle uh, Monday will be like that so it will be a bearish breakout and we can start buying the gold right here then we can keep our trade all the way until this previous resistance and let's just be clear if we place our buy here we can keep our trade only until the next resistance uh, uh, so we can start buying gold at 1495 keep our position or position only until 1508 that should be approximately 1400 pips of profit i really hope and wish everyone will get them so guys that was my forecast for this week uh, i really hope everyone will be uh, lucky this week and hopefully it will be a very profitable and good week for everyone so guys that was it i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching